Uh, what's your assessment? Because it's one of the issues that the governors of the southern region raised today as to the operation of security agencies. And they are demanding that if there will be any operation of the security agencies, the security chief security officer of the state, the governors, should be informed with what happened in Ibadan, the raid on Sunday Igbo's house, and the rally we saw in Lagos. What is your assessment and what's your take? Well, I, I think it's... Um... It is a decision that is coming rather late. Uh, governors are chief security officers of their state, in line with the provisions of the Constitution. Uh, and in the case of AG Anambra State, Attorney General of Anambra State, and Attorney General of the Federation, uh, uh, when Governor Ngege of the then Anambra State was kidnapped, you know, uh, with the connivance of uh, a chief uh, police officer, uh, the state governor went to court and the Supreme Court made the point that commissioners of police in each state are under the control of the governor and they must take directives from the governor. In the case of Inspector General of Police and ANPP, this, the court of appeal made the point that when it comes to public meetings in every state, rallies in every state, demonstrations, the governor has the last say that as a matter of fact, the name of the IG, Inspector General of Police, is not mentioned in the Public Order Act. But what has happened over the years, even when the governor, the party of the governor of a state, wants to hold a rally, you get a, 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 a directive from the uh, uh, Inspector General of Police in Abuja that that cannot meet. So I, I think our governors are beginning to appreciate that they are the chief security officers in the state. By the way, Shim, every state government in Nigeria has a security council. The governor is the chair. The commissioner of police is a member. The director of state security service is a member. All the military commanders in that state are members. What is small? We have the Nigerian Police Council, headed by the president, the president is only the chairman. The 36 state governors are members. Of course, the Inspector General of Police and the Chairman Police Service Commission. That body, that 39 member body, where you have 36 governors, is empowered by the Constitution to administer, organize, and supervise the Nigerian Police Force. So, governors are right, perfectly in order, in giving this directive. And you can't have a situation where noxional, noxional arrests are made in the state without, as if you are, as if you are planning a coup. Take Ibado, for instance. The invasion of the home of Ibo happened in the night. And for a whole day, everybody was wondering, who, who did it? And that seven people were killed. People were arrested and abducted. At 2 a.m., the governor of the state wasn't aware. So everybody was trying to find out, calling security agencies, who's done it? Only for the state security service to issue a very provocative st statement. After almost 12 hours to say we did it, we killed two people, we raided a house. Oh, somebody attempted to resist arrest. And you kill two people? Now, the governor of the state wasn't aware. And I think what is being said, in 2016, uh, uh, governors, I mean, uh, judges were arrested in the dead of the night. And they came out on that occasion to warn, to warn that having regards to what had happened in Ghana, I think in 1981 or about, we have four judges were abducted in the dead of the night and killed that we must stop this. In my own personal case, I was once arrested in the dead of the night in Lagos. Dr. Beck on some country was arrested in the, dead, the same night. I was dumped on Badagri, uh, no, Apple Road, while Dr. Beck was dumped somewhere uh, 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 on Badagri Road. Now, that was then. In this